Our time in Shenzhen ended with a flight to Shanghai. Shanghai, being one of the epicenters of Chinese commerce, seemed like the appropriate backdrop for what would be the headquarters of Huawei. Now, it is important to note that this is the headquarters, not the campus of Huawei, like in Shenzhen. So it had a very different look to it. But nonetheless, we dove into what looked like a very corporate and very fancy building in order to get even more time with Huawei's representatives for some interviews and also a look at their headquarters. Not only at the experience zone. Which you'll see a little bit later, but actually also to their R&D area, which unfortunately we are unable to show you、uh, because it was one of the few places of the tour that we were unable to record, get audio, or even really talk about that much. But it was a、uh, pretty interesting time to take a look at how their R&D puts together their devices. But first, we have interviews. If we talk,、uh, if we talk about smartphone,、uh, usually we think about、uh, several things.、Uh, maybe first is a camera. What camera? How about camera? It is. And second is uh, uh, the uh, what's the feeling you hold it when you hold it,、um, and the third is、uh, how about screen? It looks、uh, maybe it's good or not? You know, you can、uh, separate it with your eye. So, and of course there are some、uh, additional feature, maybe new feature. To give the different、uh, appearance to consumers, such as、uh, fingerprints, such as uh, 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 some sensor to test your heartbeat or something, heart pressure,、uh, pressure or something. Uh, uh, that's it. She has blood pressure. Blood yeah, pressure. blood pressure. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So, I think that in the in this year, we <coughs> invest all of this area、uh, in our、uh, R&D. And with that, we geared up for yet another portion of our tour. Now, I already told you that we were not able to record or even take any sound or even talk about the R and D area, the testing area for devices. But we can show you the Experience Center, which is another area that Huawei put together to show not only what they can do with current technology, but what they hope to do with the future of what they call MBB, which is mobile broadband. Their own solutions for mobile broadband will allow for、uh, the creation of 5G internet, as we saw here. And like I mentioned in the previous video, it was all about the internet. Of things, being able to create hotspots in all parts of what they call the tech city, in order to create a network that can control not only the network that goes to your phone, but a network that includes everything from、uh, regulators across the city to the smartphone in your hand to even medical devices across the board. Many presentations that were available focused on the 5G service and one that Huawei hopes to be a pioneer of in the near future. And through 5G internet, we will be able to not only, like in the previous、uh, video, see 4K video become a real streaming service with all of those packets coming through beautifully in the broadband, but also see a particular future where we have access points not only in the places that we expect them to be, but in places that we don't. As you can see here, we have a demonstration of a mobile broadband. Band repeater that would be able to allow everyone to seamlessly go from network to network in order to keep their、uh, eyes on the media that they might be streaming, for example. But then that is, of course, for the future. And Huawei was quick to show us a particular presentation showing that in recent events that held a lot of people in particular stadiums, they were still able, with their access points, to allow everyone in attendance to be able to access the internet seamlessly to do things like post to YouTube or Instagram. And with that, we left the experience center. And came back with a couple more interviews to round off the day.、Uh, because of course, U.S. market is very important market for us. And yesterday, I just saw a interview、um, from a Huawei uh, sales VP, and、uh, he mentioned that Huawei will enter the U.S. market、uh, because this is inevitable. So we need to do a lot of things,、uh, and、uh, we need to、uh, adopt a strategy to enter the U.S. market. I think you know QHD will consume more power, but that is only one part of the impact. They also impact other things, for example, the contrast ratio and the color saturation ratio. And with the same technology, if we pursue QHD, that means we have to improve the lightness.、Uh, we have to put in more uh, back uh, lightings that will also consume more power. I'm not saying we already rule out the chance of adopting QHD.、Uh, when we solve the power consumption issue, color saturation, and the contrast ratio issue, when those issues are all solved, we'll of course will adopt QHD.
And with that, we ended our tour with Huawei. First, they brought us out to Shenzhen, and then we went to Shanghai to their headquarters, where we were able to get a much better look at their device testing, but it's not something that we were able to talk about or even record at the time. Uh, nonetheless, one thing became clear to us, Huawei not only has a very big pedigree when it comes to telecommunications, and that is the reason why they have a lot of prowess in the smartphone game, but they do have a lot of big plans for the upcoming few years, not only with their smartphones, but with the possibility of mobile network evolution. From there though, we were able to get some interviews and a couple of them are going to be made available in shortened forms from the one hour long interviews we were able to have with the high level representatives at Huawei. We want to give Huawei our thanks for inviting us to come out to Shenzhen and Shanghai and we hope that later this year we will be able to do even more media tours like this with other companies as well. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of that great coverage, including the upcoming interviews and my uh, full review of the Honor 6 Plus Plus, of which Huawei has released very recently. So keep it tuned here and remember to drop us some likes and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Once you're done with all that, make sure you head on over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.